so very good morning children you can see we have an excel screen in front of us and as we have already discussed demonstrated and learned in class 6 as well about the row and column headings you can see in front of you a b c d e f g f these all are the column headings and if i go to the extreme right you can see the heading xfd this is representing actually 16384th column and in the same manner if i get down so you can see 10,48,576 rows so if i just try to calculate both of these values with multiplication 1048576 and multiply 16384 so this is a very big value and these much cells are there only in single sheet and you know what we can have thousands of sheet and if we multiply that thousands of numbers you can imagine the number of cells we could have only in one excel file so ultimately this is a very big number and we can do a lot of work in excel but right now i'm just giving you one example to use formulas but before that we should know the concept of cell address cell address means the address or the reference of cell which is corresponding to the column and row heading so here we have g and this side we can see the number four they both are already highlighted and at the left side of formula bar this is name box where we can see the address as g4 so when i type a number say nine and g4 and then another number on h4 say eight so i can apply some formula some multiplication with the help of basic formula so i need to click on first cell address then multiplication operator and then another operand that is h4 and if i press enter button i'll get the result so this is equal to first cell address multiply second cell address this is the concept of basic formula we can perform any kind of formulas in excel multiplication addition subtraction or collectively we need to perform certain things in our day-to-day -day life so all these things are easily done in microsoft excel and i'll be explaining you those things in my next video thank you so much